today I have a gorgeous summer palette of clothes for you. I'm even wearing baby blue in keeping with one of the dresses in this collection. So my outfit today is this gorgeous shirt from House of Meliora. You can find that, I'll link it below in the description box. You can find it online, it's really gorgeous. Um, and then these trousers are my white trousers that I got last year from River Island. And then this belt is a saddle style, or is it horse bit style belt from H&M that I got for five pound in the sale last year. So really loving this and also my shoes got these from ASOS the other day don't know how many pairs they have left but they're really really lovely they're like a point toe sling back gorgeous tan color really deep tan so it goes really nicely with this belt but anyway moving on to this gorgeous collection here I have a few things I want to do in the summer so this has come at the most opportune time Ascot is coming up there is a dress here that I have had to order another one because I've been sent the wrong size, which is this one. This has been sent as a size 12. I ordered everything as a size 8. Um, but for some reason, this one's come as a size 12. I'll try it on and show you. I have ordered um, a replacement in an 8 and also a replacement for this because this is too small. So I've had to order this in a 10. Um, but I'll try this on anyway. But I have ordered the other sizes for it because it is really gorgeous. It still actually sits nice from the front. It's just the back gate. So. Yes, I'm going to get on and show you these and then I'll try them on and talk a little bit more about them once they're on my body. So first we have the gorgeous full length, it's like a full length midi, so it's not quite ankle length, not quite floor length, but it is longer than mid ankle, uh, mid calf. So this is the crossover beautiful linen dress. This is the one with the full skirt and it has a nice tie belt, but it also has a high back, which I didn't realise, so I bought the wrong one. Um, and the other one is actually sold out in my size already, so I might have to wait to see if that comes back in. Um, but yeah, this, so this one's not for me, but it is gorgeous, and I will try it on and show you it. The fabric is so soft and buttery. It's gorgeous. It's really, really lightweight. It's so beautiful for the summer weather, and keeps you cool, keeps you warm if it's chilly, things like that. That's why I just love linen for that purpose. It's not a really, really crinkly kind of linen. It's going to look a bit dishevelled like this much, but it's not terrible it's not creasing as much as I thought it might because it has rested a little bit on the floor since I ironed it um, and these bow creases have set in um, but it's not I don't know if it's going to look as messy as I had anticipated it would so I'll try this on and show you so here we have the first dress in the Mediterranean Reverie collection and this is exactly the sort of dress that one would see or one would expect to be wearing in the Mediterranean. We go to the Mediterranean a lot. We have a villa in Mallorca and we go there as soon as the weather looks nice. I haven't been there this year because the weather has been terrible there as it has been at home. So that's a strange old thing that's happened this year. But this sort of dress is great for that. I really love this high neckline. It's really reminiscent of something you'd wear to the cruise, to Cannes. That sort of thing, it's really gorgeous and the little swishy skirt is why I got it because I love how lightweight this sort of thing is in the sun when you're walking around but you don't want to be wearing beachwear, you're going somewhere nice, maybe for lunch, that sort of thing. Um, this is the perfect outfit for that. For me, I do actually want low back because I'm not that flexible, like I'm really quite stiff, so getting into things where I have to zip all the way up to the top and I have to cross, cross my arms over to get into I don't enjoy doing that, um, so yeah, I actually prefer the one with the low back and forsake the fuller skirt for that, so I'd go for the more empire line style dress with this lovely um, crossover neckline. So I'm just going to keep my eyes peeled on the website to see if that dress comes back in stock in my size. Cross my fingers, hope that it does. Um, but I'm going to send this one back, but I do love it, and this belt is really cute. I again would probably do what Lydia does and take this off and put a, a brown belt with it, because it just makes that whole thing look so um, classic for me. It's just de definitely my style. Um, and again, I touched on this a little bit earlier in the year and a little bit last year, the old money aesthetic is coming back in. I say it's coming back, it's never left, but it's becoming a trend for 2023. And that sort of white tan, uh, navy blue and white stripes, the Breton sort of styles, they're all gonna be huge this year. And so that tan belt with white crisp, um, timeless classic styles that's all the rage this year and that makes sense as well because of the economy so things are people are buying more um, sustainably and more cleverly and they're buying capsule things and they all just seem to go together so you don't need to be spending too much money every month on different outfits to keep up with trends you just buy something that is classic and you can keep it forever as long as you look after it and then next we have what became the star of the show when I tried these on the other day when I was ironing them 
This is the Sugar Plum Fairy Dress in Sage. Now, I didn't get the Sugar Plum Fairy one in pink. I missed out on that um, last December, but I did get this in the Sage, which for me is a better colour anyway. I didn't know how much I was going to love this till I put it on and it's absolutely stunning. I'm going to let the dress do the talking, but I really need someone to wear this. So I want to go to the ballet again, or the opera, or somewhere gorgeous, maybe Henley Festival. If I can talk David into doing it. He's done it before. He's been to the Henley Regatta before, um, many years ago. So and we've got a boat, but our boat is in Yorker and it's not a rowing boat. <laughs> it's not a little river boat. It's a speed boat, power boat, I think it's called. What do they call it? Power yacht, it's a power yacht. Um, yeah, so maybe I can talk with going with me. If not, I've got a few friends I can go with. Um, yeah, this would be great for that. Such a gorgeous sort of posh party dress. Oh, love it. Love it so much. Um, one thing I will say, if you're going to buy something like this, you need to own a steamer because you cannot iron this. It's plastic, it's polyester. Um, and this did come rather crinkled, so I did have to spend quite some time steaming out all the crinkles because it comes in a little bag. Um, so yeah, definitely bear that in mind if you're looking to get something with tulle netting on it, is to get yourself a steamer. So what an absolute treat this dress is. I absolutely love it. This is the unexpected star of the collection for me. I ordered it not knowing, not really thinking what I was going to wear it for, but I just wanted to try it on because it was so cute. Um, and I tried it on the other day and just fell in love with it instantly. I even messaged Lydia on Instagram and said how much I love this dress. Um, so yeah, this is my favourite dress out of the whole collection. It's so cute. I feel like oh, I've got this silly grin on my face, to be honest with you. Um, I feel really feminine in it, very youthful um, and pretty and things like that. So it's really, really girly without being childish. So it's, yeah, it's really, really lovely. It's definitely a party dress. I would wear this to the ballet or the opera or one of the events that come up in the season. It's not um, Ascot because you need to have um, straps for Ascot, unfortunately. Um, but this is so cute. I actually love this dress. I'll give you a little twirl in it. I know you can't see my feet, but I will do the cutaways for that part. Um, but yeah, it's so cute. It's like really floofy without being frou-frou. So yeah, it's an absolute showstopper of a dress. This will steal the attention when you walk into the room, wherever you are. I would actually pair it with um, a more of a statement necklace for me. I've got my little um, one that my friend got me for my birthday from uh, Kate Spade, but maybe something like the Van Cleef would look really, really nice with this. I don't have a Van Cleef necklace. I do want one there. I want one for my birthday, maybe. <laughs> That's what I want. Um, yeah, that would look really nice. I feel like this bracelet around my neck would just be so gorgeous. Maybe I should just get another one of these and I can attach them. And then I can open it because then I want to embrace it. No, we won't do that. Get two of these. <laughs> yeah, that is adorable. Yeah, I really, really love it. So, yes, star of the show for me, this one. Then next we have this gorgeous shirt. I was so pleased. Do you know what? I actually didn't even see this the first time I looked through um, what to buy. I saw this after I'd ordered, and I'd ordered things to be delivered to a local shop because our post box isn't on our house here, it's outside the property. Um, so we don't have parcels delivered here. So I ordered I ordered like £1,200 worth of things, and um, I then got a message the next day saying, hey, sorry, we can't send you this because it's over the amount we send to a pickup location. So then I had to reorder the things, um, and I just had it sent to work. Um, and then I spotted this the second time round, so I'm glad that kind of happened a little bit. It was a little bit of a delay getting the things, but I then saw this shirt, which I missed somehow the first time round, and it's the perfect shirt that I've been looking for. So it's a linen, really lovely, thick, good quality linen shirt. It's a short height, so when you tuck it in, it's not going to bunch up all around your derriere and make you look dishevelled and unkempt. It's got gorgeous gold buttons. I really like the simple collar. But also, what I really like about it, is it's one of those foldy uppy ones. And it has the little tab, so you can tie it up, like it knocks, it goes off with a little um, button. I can't remember what these are called, but I'm just going to call them a tab. But you roll up the sleeve and then you tab it up. It's great, it's such, it's like a dress down, um, smart casual. Dressed up, smart casual, I'm not even sure. I had a really good word for this earlier, I can't remember what it is. Hmm, what's the word for that? Don't know, but it's like a utilitarian, um, really smart, or just power outfit. Don't know, power dressing, I don't know, who knows. But this outfit actually, Dave, was inspired by Jessica Alpha. I saw it on Pinterest and pinned it on my board. Well, actually, that's what I'm getting there, because I can wear that. I already have things for that. Okay, so this linen shirt is absolutely gorgeous. I have ordered a 10, I'll just hold that back. Um, 
But today, for some reason, it doesn't feel as big. Maybe I had a different bra on when I tried this on the other day and I just have one of those like padded vests on at the moment from Primark, but um, yeah, it kind of feels okay. I think it's more, it is more the back. So if I was to hug anybody, I would feel a bit, a bit tight across there. So yeah, I am glad I ordered the 10 actually. Um, Cause I do like it to be a bit more slouchy when the, the waist is so high. So I would, this is how I would wear this shirt. I would wear this with a, high, a pair of high waist white trousers um, or jeans, that sort of thing. But um, these are wide leg ones and I've got them on. This is basically the same outfit I had on earlier, but with a different shirt. Um, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And these are the, the arm tabs that I was telling you about. So you fold them over twice and then just button them up. And then I would pair them with this Kelly bag because it's gorgeous. Um, and I really like the color on the twilly around the handle. So yeah, it's really, really cute. I love this actual, this whole outfit is so me. <laughs> this is just so gorgeous. If I go out wearing this, people stare at me. So if you like attention, dress like this, dress well, dress up for the day, you feel so good. Like if you like attention, this sort of dressing makes you feel good about yourself because you like the attention, you get attention, and it's, um, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. What's the word? It's a, uh, I can't think of the word. Makes you feel good. Anyway, it's builds your confidence. Yeah, so yeah, this is definitely a me outfit. Can't wait to get the size 10 shirt and wear it somewhere because I feel amazing. <laughs> so this dress is the sage green version of the white dress that Lydia brought up last year. So this time last year, and I think it's like the luxury, bohemian luxury or luxury bohemia. I can't remember what it was. Um, something to do with bohemia. Anyway, um, the white dress came out and it was sold out so, so fast. I even had early access to the collection and it was gone. It was gone before I even got on, got on there. So yeah, this is really, really lovely. These little side pleats are fantastic. And this came in a dress bag. So I've got a different hanger to the others. These two came in a dress bag. And um, this didn't need ironing at all. Even the bottom, which was smushed a little bit in the bag, all the creases have dropped out. So this is a really, really good low maintenance throw on, um, short, you know, last minute, short notice type dress for something where you want to look really, really smart and put together but haven't really got time to finesse your outfit. So this is something really, really good for that. I love the colour. I mean, I'm a sage girl girl anyway. Sage girl and baby blue, I think just go really, really lovely. Sage girl, sage green. <laughs> sage green and baby blue, I think just go really, really lovely with blonde hair anyway. So yeah, I'm definitely a sage green fan. Um, if I'd got this in the white, I'd have been over the moon with this dress because it swishes. It's got that sort of regal princess feel about it when you're walking. The drape on the bottom because it's quite a heavy fabric that's why the um, crinkles have all dropped out because it is quite a heavy fabric it's definitely polyester um but it's not like a terrible polyester it feels like polyester it's got it's got a nice bit of quality feel about it the belt um is probably the only carry melon belt that i've ever liked that they've provided with one of their outfits um it's really nice actually um, it's not too plasticky it is obviously a plastic faux leather belt but it's not it's not as bad as some of the belts have been. It's not as questionable. But this one, unfortunately for me, is too small. It's only just too small. It's a bit tight across my bust and the belt is actually too small. I can put it on so I will, I'll show you what it looks like, but it's it's right on the limit. Um, so I would just wear a different belt with this entirely. Um, but yeah, I think this is really, really gorgeous and I really love the utilitarian sort of ness about it. So we have the lovely Super Duper Long uh, Sage Green Utilitarian style shirt dress oh, it is lovely i really do love it i'm in two minds about keeping it to be honest with you just because of how much i love the swishiness but honestly during the day i don't really wear full length dresses full length dresses for me are something i wear to events but i do love it i really if this was white i probably would keep it um so i'm still gutted i'm totally gutted about not having got the white one of these last year but these pleats on the side i really love this whole idea so I'm probably going to steal this idea from making my own dresses because um, I just love how much fabric it gives you for the drape of the dress, like how much it makes it swishable, like swish elastic. And um, obviously, including some cutaways for you, so you can see how swishy it is. But it's really, really gorgeous. This is the um, tightness of the belt I was telling you about. I have to actually suck in to be able to get it to do up, and it sits just underneath my rib cage. Um, but I personally, this is me with my belly not sucking in. <laughs> I'm not sure I have to 
to get it to do up. So do bear that in mind if you do want to wear this belt, um, wear this dress and don't have a belt to replace it with. I'm lucky I do have a belt to replace it with. Um, I'm not going to try it on now, but uh, this one, my Louis Dauphine belt. I, just, I wear that with everything that I need a tan belt for, to be honest with you. It's my favourite belt of all time. I love it. It cost me an arm and a leg, but I can have it forever. Yeah, it's one of those um, belts that are just fabulous. So yes, this is gorgeous. Still in two minds about whether to keep it or not though. We'll see. Now this dress is the one that I bought for going to Ascot this year and they sent me a size 12 by accident. Um, so I've ordered the size 8, which should be being delivered today actually. I was hoping it was going to be delivered tomorrow, uh, yesterday, but it wasn't so I'm just going to wait for that to get the email to say that's being delivered. Um, but yeah, so I will try this on because it still fits me okay from the front, it just gapes at the back so this is a size 12, but it's so lightweight. This is gorgeous, I think this is the silk cotton or silk linen blend, I might say on the label, but I haven't got the glasses on, I'm struggling with it. Silk cotton, yeah. Silk cotton seam print. So this is the lovely wildflower garden. We all know it won't if you watch Lydia. She's got her own little wild garden growing, which is so sweet. Um, but yeah, I really love any sort of dress that has a print at the bottom that fades off to the top, so it's not on repeat. Sort of ditzy floral dresses aren't really my style. I really like something that's a bit, a bit more broken up, where the, the I feel like the pattern is purposely made for that garment, things like that. So. Um, bespoke printing, that's something. Sorry about the noise from the lawnmower, there's nothing I can do about that, we need our, our grass cut. <laughs> today is my filming day, and today is also the grass cutting day. So I have ordered the size 8 for this in the hopes that I'll be able to wear it to Royal Ascot and get myself a really lovely fascinator and any piece of colours that will go with it. Um, and the fact that it's a natural fibre is great for an outdoor event because if you're sitting out in the sun, you don't want to be sitting out in the sun in polyester because you will just melt, you will cook to death and obviously um, that's quite punishing and makes you sweat and it's not great for any sort of event. So if you are going to an all day event, do try and find yourself something that is a natural fibre because you will just feel so much more comfortable in it and your makeup will last longer because you won't be sweating it off in the sunshine. So this is really beautiful and I'll just try and show you exactly what I mean. So second to last we have the beautiful wild garden blue dress. So this is really beautiful. It is a size 12 so it's way too big for me but I do have the size 8 on order. Um, being delivered hopefully today. It might already have been delivered to the pickup shop by now actually but I'll get that later. But I'm going to tell you about it. This is so lightweight. This silk cotton is probably the loveliest fabric for a summer dress. It's got such a lovely swish to it, it's so lightweight, like it floats on the air. Now if you've ever played with real silk, you'll know what I mean, because the drape of pure silk, it's magical <laughs> for sewing with as well. It's like, oh, when you flick it out on the table, on the cutting table, and watch it just, it just, oh, it just does that. It, it flies, like floats on the air, oh, and this, this, this dress is doing that. When you move, it hasn't got real weight to it, it's just so lightweight, but it's, it's got a beautiful, delicate, flow, a waft if you will, um, as you walk, it sort of walks with you, it swoops, yeah, swoops a good word, yeah, it definitely swoops, and it's so soft on your skin, it's gorgeous, I really love it, can't wait to get the size 8 one to see if it fits me, um, a bit nicer around the chest, and obviously the straps being a size 12, it's, they're wider out, so they would just drop off my shoulders, when I was trying it on, I was like, well actually when I was eyeing it, I was like, hmm, this looks really big, and luckily I actually checked the label, so I thought, I'm going to check to see if it's not just like oversized or undersized, whether I've been sent the right one. And I hadn't, this is a size 12, it says it in the label, but I definitely ordered a size 8 because I checked and it says size 8, so I've just been mistakenly sent the wrong size. So everything in this collection is true to size, um, everything that I bought is anyway, so I'm really pleased about that. So the square neckline I feel is really, really lovely. I like the fact that it's not low cut, but it's still got that nice square line, which to me is like sexy, powerful sexy, and it's also got um, similar on the back as well, it's almost like a square box line. You can see my bra strap because this is too big for me, but I feel like maybe it wouldn't if it was the right size, it would cover my bra strap. Hopefully, we will see, or I will see. Um, but yeah, it's so, so beautiful. I don't know if I'm actually going to wear it to Ascot. I might just take it abroad with me and wear it on my holidays and things because the fabric is so lightweight, it's beautiful. And I normally do wear more bright colours at Ascot and something a bit more wild for the, the hair on the front. This is 
a bit more muted, a bit, a bit more pretty than bold um, for Ascot, yeah. So that's where I'm sort of leaning towards. I still love it and I'll wear it something else, but maybe not Ascot after all. So now this dress is really beautiful. It's so sweet with this pussy bow tie on the front. It is a really soft tulle gown as such, but it does have some lovely shoulder pads, which I feel like gives it some structure. So it's not so in your face for it. It's not like a sickly sweet um, dress. It has got some structure to it, which brings it back into a modern style dress. And you don't feel like a little girl when you're wearing it. You do feel really beautiful in this. I did love it actually trying it on. And it's so soft and lightweight as well, so it's really lovely for any sort of garden parties, a wedding dress outfit, that sort of thing. Um, I don't think it's striking enough to be an event dress, but it's definitely pretty enough to be something you'd wear where the attention isn't supposed to be on you, it's just someone else's birthday, someone else's wedding, things like that. Yeah, it's really, really beautiful. And the back, I really like the back. It's got a high collar, and it's got this ruffle across the back, so it's good for movement. For someone like myself, I have a really broad back, broad shoulders, so something with an extra bit of fabric in that in that area is great for someone like me. And it does have a side zip as well, so it's really clean when you're wearing it, it just looks nice and there's no visible zip on the back. So this final dress is really, really sweet. As I said, it does have the shoulder pads in it to give it a little bit of an edge, take off a bit of the sweetness, just to give it a little bit more formality about the shape. I really like it. This would be a great dress to wear to a garden wedding, or you could even use this as a bridesmaid dress, to be honest. This would be a really nice bridesmaid dress for a garden wedding. If it's something like a little bit less formal um, than satin, it's got a nice um, tulle, very soft and floaty tulle over skirt over a lining beneath. And then this pussy bow is really, really cute and it's very long, so you can tie it with a small bow and a long tassel, or you can have it like I do, I just have it a bit floppy looking. Um, but yeah, it's got the side zip, so it's concealed at the side, so you can't see any seams or anything like that um, at the back and any zip seams but I really like this area here because it does does give you room and movement um, in the back which for me is important because I do have a broad back and I often find when I do this in clothes that I feel a bit taped in uh, yeah so that I really like that and I enjoy that about this dress so we're now at the end of the video. Hopefully you found something that you yourself like. If you did, please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, I will link everything in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, bye.